I am walking along the beach again. I want to show you guys some of these nitrogen fixers. It's kind of a long walk to where I found the best of the nitrogen fixers. So I have to suffer through this long, long walk. So here on this beautiful lonely stretch of beach is where I found a lot of my nitrogen fixers. The camera tripod is actually standing right on top of some bay beans. Let's get some bay beans and let's get some crotalaria and get some nitrogen fixing action going on. Let me show you what they look like. These are bay beans. See the triple leaf pattern? These are often growing right alongside they're uh, not at all related beach morning glory. And they look very similar in their coloration, but the triple leaves are the giveaway. And look at how green these are, even though they are growing in beach sand. Let's pick a pod and see what those look like. Can you spot the pod? It's right here. Look at that. And there's another one back here. That right there is a fine nitrogen fixing plant. There are reports that you can eat them when they're green and that they've been a survival or a famine food. And I read a blog where a woman was cooking them green, but I haven't done that yet because the reports are mixed on them and I don't really want to have another loofah experience. There's a green pod right here. Look at these. Okay, so if you were picking these guys, eating them like a green bean, that's what you would do. I don't know, I'm not gonna try it. Not unless I have better data. That right there is the bloom with free ants. See, it looks like a pea bloom or a bean bloom. It's because it is very easy to spot. These ants are not biting me yet. These are beach morning glories. Unfortunately, it's not morning, so you can't see the beautiful flowers. But as you see, these have single leaves. They don't have the triple leaves of the bay bean. Beach beans are important because they help keep the coastline from eroding. And they're very easy to start from seeds. Let's see this beach right here. And these waves will pound through here and they come up back in here. But these beach beans help hold the shore together. So they serve a good function, and they also fix nitrogen, which feeds other beach plants. Now let's take a look at Crotalaria. These are Crotalaria right here. They're also in the bean and pea family. Notice the bean or pea-shaped blooms here. And they have a pod, which makes them look like a bean and pea, but they do not have the triple leaves. See, they just have a single leaf, very single. Here you can see all the pods. They're sometimes called rattle pods because they rattle like crazy. Like little maracas. Look at those beautiful flowers. I like the crotalarias quite a bit even though there's nothing edible on them so far as I know. Apparently they are edible species, but I don't know which ones they are. Now if you saw my video the other day, you saw the great big bag of nitrogen fixing seeds I brought home. I don't really have to harvest any today though. I, I did get a couple. Can't help it, I'm like a seed hoarder. Anyhow, there may be nitrogen fixers in your area that will work to improve bad pieces of soil. I just throw them down as a cover crop. These nitrogen fixers are surviving in very adverse conditions on very nutrient poor soil, or not even soil, just sand, then I know it's gonna live in my garden where things are a little bit better. 
I'm gonna tuck them around corners where we're not actively cultivating and just kind of see what happens. And, you know, look around, start to learn the patterns of the bean and pea family. Most of them are nitrogen fixers, though not all of them are. But generally, if you have that look of bean and pea blooms and bean and pea pods and leaf shape, it's probably a nitrogen fixer. Thomas Elpel's book, uh, Botany in a Day, is a really good one. Uh, it helps you kind of see the different plant families and will help with your foraging a lot. It's also a good book for homeschoolers. Botany in a Day by Thomas Elpel. I'll put the link to it in the description below. Very good, helpful, lots of illustrations. It kind of gives you an idea of what you're looking at and you can nail it down to a plant family even if you don't know the specific species. It kind of becomes easier to figure out what it is and what it's doing and where it fits in the environment. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. That's another nitrogen fixer. Nitrogen fixer. Nitrogen fixer. Nitrogen fixer. Nitrogen fixer. And that's a nitrogen fixer too.